Hello YouTube, Wizzy Butter here, and we are back in Pokemon Flora Sky. Um, in this episode we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff, but first things first, we're going to go through a Rock Smash tutorial from the one and only Sky. Lovely. That's a bit of a grammar problem. Teach your Pokemon can learn it. There's quite a few of those in the game. It's not perfectly translated. Which is fine because the it's not English isn't the maker's first language, and it it doesn't make the game impossible to play either. So you can kind of look past it. All. Oh, trainer! This is a rich kid. He had a Zigzagoon. Wasn't that interesting? Gave a lot of money though, which you can expect from a rich kid, I guess. Uh, Pokeball. Mm, I don't really know how useful they're going to be. Considering I've got two of my HM slaves now, don't really need that many other ones. Uh, this guy had. Um, I've no idea, to be honest. It wasn't that interesting, apparently. If it was, I'd have remembered it, for one. A uh, fishing guy, as you always get, he gives you the old rod. We will probably be getting all the rods, and I will try and show you guys as much of the secrets and items and stuff that I can to make this somewhat of a walkthrough as well but it's, it is kind of hard to, to be honest because there is quite a bit in the game and there's no official guide for me to follow myself mm. uh, this is just simple fishing, it's the same as ruby, sapphire and emerald really um, and here we have everyone's favourite fish Magikarp! I know I love it. beat him to death Pamela punch him in his gills What is below the belt on a fish? Would you, would you say the gills? I can imagine the gills hurting. Mm. Repel. I'm probably going to be using repels a lot later on. Mainly because editing's a, editing, editing out wild battles is a pain. Mm. This guy, my manky, demanded battle. I skipped him. He had a manky, as you might have guessed, and a scraggy. Mm. Flash! Hello! Uh, this is the scene I was talking about earlier in the intro and the end of last episode. Yeah, that's Dialga and Giratina. Big sprites. It's nice, this early on. It's quite a good story element. That's just a better view of the sprites. And p to actually initiate the thing, we have to speak to Flash. Hmm. Not the best fight I've ever seen. Jump up and down them. Jump at each other. <laughs> okay. And then the screen flashes to red, and boom. That's your cue. Okay, there we go. You're in a uh, big torn world place. You might have been to the torn world if you had um, Pokemon Platinum. It's very different here. It's a lot greener, and you see why in just a few seconds, actually. Just give me time to walk there. It is pitch black, and I don't have anyone flash yet. Uh, and uh, uh, it's shaman, yeah. And this is incredible. You actually speak. You, the protagonist, speaks. That's never happened. At least from what I can remember. Yeah. I'm happy with it. And we just randomly wake up in a house. Hmm. Mystic town. This is the next town. Very rainy. The weather's a bit dismal. Mm. It was quite rainy here today as well. I don't think that has anything to do with the game raining, but you never know. Right. Uh, big old cave. We meet up with Flash again. Hello. But you're back. I, don't, I can't do her voice. Um, yeah, she explains who Shaman is. Just real quick. Um, that's a little thing. You the the battle from Giratina and Dialga made a massive explosion that sent rocks all over the town making parts of it inaccessible. Yet you survived perfectly well. Albeit you went to the torn world, but that's besides the point. It's an explosion. Not generally just something you can get up from and walk along happily, merrily. 
just healing up after that room. Uh, it's, it's your usual stuff. This is just another town, to be honest. Except this town doesn't have a gym. Um, it, it's kind of a waypoint town, or a story town. As in, story missions happen there, but you don't have any gym battles or anything. So, yeah. But it does lead to a town that does. This is the herb shop that's in pretty much every game. And this lovely old chap gives you charcoal. It is an item which gives a 1.1 times damage boost to fire type attacks. I won't be using it. Namely, as we've said before, mammals like Pamela can't spit fire. If only they could. Herb shops sell stuff, well, sell herbs, but these are bitter and they make your Pokemon dislike you. This is the battle tent. Lovely place. It's it's like the cafe battle things. I don't know why he's shirtless. Mm. He has a Voltorb. Most, it, it's kind of tradition to have um, those people with guitars. I, I've already forgotten their trainer type. Uh, I should really read what's actually going on on the screen. But anyway, it's a tradition to have electric types with those guys, like Voltorb. Mm. Not much of a fight, to be honest. Pamela is, as I said earlier, a beast. Uh, three people in here we need to defeat, and then you can find out why we needed orange mail from small town. It's not, it's not a big thing, really. It's just like a side thing. Cottony, I was talking about this earlier, about how its ability changed. I, we don't get an example of its ability in this, um, in this battle, but just know it's different. Like, Scraggy. Scraggy was a good example of how abilities have changed, even though we didn't get to see that either. <laughs> um, you will get a decent view of it sometime, I promise you. I will show it off. And the final battle of this place is this guy. He's quite cool. He has a... Uh, he, he has a... Uh, give it time, give it time. He has a Pichu! Ah! It's so cute! It's so fluffy. Yeah. Um, so, cool. I like Pichu. They're cute. They're, they're cute. They are. Mm. Pre-evolution of Pikachu, which you can kind of see. Pants it. You see a lot of these if uh, you were playing. If you're playing through black or white, and for some reason the game just loves to throw the pan monkeys at you. That's Pansia, Pansage, and um, Pan. Pan poor, pan poor. Uh, that you see them all the time. They start off as just a demonstration of how of type effectiveness, which I liked, to be honest. But then they just kept throwing them at you, and it got kind of repetitive and boring. Mm. I just think it could that could have been done better. But here we go. You bring him five orange males. You do need five, unlike the place all the way back when in Puel City, where you only needed one shadow thing. You get honey. Um, now, if you've played other Pokemon games, you probably know that honey gets smeared on trees and it attracts Pokemon, generally rare Pokemon that you can't find in grasses normally, which is quite a good thing, and it would be quite good if I actually gonna wanted one of them. That's Route G. All that's up there is a trainer and a blocked off thing that leads to the next town, but it's blocked off by a cut tree. More on cut later. Um, but for now, well, let's move on. Healing up, normal stuff. Now, after this Mystic Town thing, you have to go back to Small Town. Um, because now the middle aged guy is out from the south of it. But, I mean, it's really not my kind of thing to show you guys something that tedious of walking all the way back there. And I'm not going to speed it up either, because that would just be tacky and it would look all weird. So I'm going to do something that potentially could look a lot weirder or it could look a lot better. It's really for you to decide. Now, imagine, if you will, that this house in front of us, Flash's house, is actually our house back in Small Town. Just imagine it. Imagine it with all your might. Okay. Believe. Believe and ta -da! yeah, yeah. That's the magic of belief. 
and video editing, editing, but that's not the point. Hi, Mum. Um, I just wanted to show off something in the bedroom. Thanks to Moon Mover on the Voltron Army forums, because he actually let me know that they did release an orange GameCube for a while. And I, re- I didn't know that. I still prefer purple. Um, but it's I didn't know that, and it's nice that people can actually tell me things, because, yeah. And he also told me that Birch is actually the professor of the third generation. Very useful. To know. Middle-aged guy's gone. Battle. Uh, what do you have? Lass. Lotad. Oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, kind of... We have seen a Lotad before. Not my favourite Pokemon. I don't... It's not really that memorable to me. I, I remember it's just not that great. Shroomish. I have no idea why I kept this battle in. We've seen both of these people before. Okay, that's my mistake. I'm sorry. Um, well, you get to enjoy me beating up that derpy Shroomish again and successfully not getting anything from effect, uh, from effect Spore. So, yeah. Marvel at my luck, <laughs> I guess. Or that shroomish doesn't just doesn't have effect spore, in which case I'm not lucky. <laughs> Let's say I'm lucky just to just because it sounds better, okay? Yep, good. That's a cut tree. Again more on cut later, it's changed a lot in this game. I'll explain it when we actually need to explain it. Mareep. I like Mareep. This is so fluffy Even more fluffy than Pichu. Because it's a sheep. Obviously. I just run. Can't be bothered, really. Um, this kid. I actually like this kid's Pokemon. Um, not in a sense that I, I like them massively, but I've always liked Weasel. It's quite cool. So it's a ferret or a weasel. Or, well, it's a weasel. But yeah, or an otter. I'm not good with animals, to be honest. It, it's, it's somehow depressing that I'm better with Pokemon than I am animals. Oh well. Anyway, he's a water type. He used water sport. I've never found a use for water sport, to be honest. It's kind of crummy. It just lowers the power of fire type moves. No idea how much. I haven't, I've never been that interested in it to actually want to know. Or want to use it. That truck goes down with one hit. And we level up again. Woo. I, I do promise that things will get harder for me. It's just these early stages. It's it's going to be easy. You can kind of expect it. Uh, this is the general forest that we get in every game. And this one has a celebi showing. Guess what that means, folks? Yes, later on we do meet celebi. I think it's a side thing, not a story thing, but I will show it off because I just love you guys, you know? Yeah. And I said I'd show everything I can. Or can be bothered to. So, yeah. I get a little lost. And then I see that foresty guy. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't bode well when I get lost. Anyway. Um, this will be the last part of the video. If you're getting too tired of them already. Uh, a bug catcher. Like we saw earlier. But he has a few different Pokemon. He has four. And they're all kind of bash them around the head, they're gone forever things. Really weak first stage bug bug one. Wormple, uh, Gen 3 I think. Nothing amazing. It's just the Generation 3 Caterpie really. Oh, speaking of Caterpie... Mm. <laughs> kind of crummy. Evolves into some, some things uh, that you can actually use. If not amazingly well in the meta game, but you can still use them in the story. You can use anything in the main story, and it's fine. Uh, combi... evolves into Vespiquen. Quite useful, actually. I like Vespiquen. Yeah, Pineco. Pineco annoy me. Uh, there's nothing about them in particular, it's just when you battle them, you take them down to where it's one, sh one more hit to kill them, like right now, and what do they do? Protect. They're just delaying the inevitable. Just, just accept your fate, you Pine cone thing? That's not much of an insult for a pine cone, is it? It's not much of an insult in general. <laughs> you have offended my honour, you pine cone. <laughs> I'll be leaving the video there, and this is where I say adieu.